mythology and mystery. No, it's not a typo. I didn't mean to say mythology or mystery. No, this is, this is both. Retirement is looming for, for most of us boomers. If, in fact, it's probably already here for many, looming for a few more. And we grew up at a time when um, there was a mythology to retirement. When I say mythology, I'm actually referring to, you know, the Greek myths and the Roman myths and the Nordic myths and the fairy tales that we grew up with, um, which include models and important um, ways of thinking that are significant and important for us. And retirement has been one of those. Go to school, get a job, have, have a career or, or, or two, maybe multiple jobs, and then retire, right? That's been the mythology. And that was relevant at a time when, um, first of all, the retirement age was established at, at, at 65. And at, at, at that point in time, the lifespan was mid-70s. So, so there were like 10 years or so, maybe 15 years, um, and people planned for that financially, and that worked well. Well, today, many of us are retiring before 65, for one. Uh, even at 65, the lifespan adjusted for COVID, let's say now, is 83. It was 85 just a few years ago. That's significantly more time. And most of us are living past that, even past 85. And the money may or may not be sufficient. But here's the mystery that I want to point out. I love mysteries. I've read hundreds of mysteries and thrillers. And, and as, you many, as, as you know, the theme for most mysteries is who done it. Well, in this case, the mystery that I'm talking about is who's going to do it? Or what are you going to do with this extra time? And m many of us have maybe planned financially, haven't planned for what we're going to do. And there's a very s startling statistic um, within the retirement cycle, if you will, of, of planning for retirement, then retiring. And then there's a huge number of people who experience disenchantment with retirement. Well. That concerns me for myself, but also for all of us, all of us boomers. What, why is that happening? I think part of the reason it's happening is people haven't planned. It, it's like something's going to magically just happen and I'm going to be happy. And, and many of us will be. However, you may be one of those who won't be or want to do something more or maybe need to do something more. I've heard many people say, I'm, not, I'm just going to keep working. I can't afford to retire. Okay, if you love your work and your work feeds you, that's fabulous. Many of us, though, have, have reached a, a, maybe a burnout or just a point where we don't want to do that work anymore. What I'd like to introduce here is, as part of this mystery is, is understanding and finding something ahead of retirement or early on that will feed you, maybe like a new or a, a, a reinvigorated life purpose. Hey, I'm Eric Forrester. I'm your next step strategist. And I created the Add Your Lane project just for this type of situation. I'm going through it myself. Stay tuned for our next, next video where I'm going to unpack a little bit more about what you can do right now, today, to um, deal with and, and own the mythology and the mystery of retirement. Talk soon.